How's it going everyone? It's Gadgets Boy and in this video we are taking a look at this case from by Griffin. This is the Survivor case uh, in collaboration with Catalyst. So they brought us a nice waterproof case that will protect your iPhone 5 up to 3 meters deep. So you don't have to go out there and buy a new phone just because it's not waterproof like the Sony Xperia Z or the Samsung Galaxy S4 Active. You can just get yourself a case like this which looks good and you can actually use it on a day to day basis so you can actually use it while you're out there not just when you're doing something that's water sports related or maybe it's just swimming or maybe you're on holiday and you want to go uh, you know, swimming, skinny dipping, whatever you want to do, you want to capture the moment, you've got the right case just for that. So why not? Let's check it out. So this is the Survivor waterproof case with Catalyst and Griffin and this will protect your iPhone 5 like I mentioned earlier up to 3 meters deep or if you like to measure in a different way 9.8 feet uh, which is really good. Most swimming pool these days where you can do these sort of things with your phone uh, or GoPro whatever they're about that deep anyway unless you really are kind of adventurous and you want to go something like diving in the, in the sea or something like that but this will do the job and you can actually use this on day to day basis as well so let's just open this up and see what it's all about. Inside the packaging you get your actual survivor case there as you can see. Uh, behind the packaging you also get this booklet here which shows you how to get it installed properly. You can see the size of the booklet as well which means these guys mean business. They want you to read it, they want you to take note because they don't want to take any chances with your precious iPhone 5. And if you look on the front as well they will even warn you in the big red writing to say make sure you read this properly before you start installing it because they will not take any responsibility for not installing it properly. So we put that to the side. Again the booklet is quite thick as you can see there for a phone case. Uh, you don't normally get that with any phone case. We'll put that to the side and take a look at the rest of the case. So underneath there, there's a warranty information there as you can see that little paper there. So outside of packaging is the case itself. You can actually see it. it doesn't add too much bulk to your iPhone just looking at the side view there. I'll pop my iPhone 5 in there in a second just to show you guys how this uh, looks like. So this is fully uh, transparent and this is uh, made from hard plastic. So it actually protects your phone if you do drop it as well as protect it from dust and all that kind of stuff. So not just waterproof again, which means you can use it on an everyday or day to day use as well. Not just for using while you doing anything water related. So uh, first thing you notice is the flap right at the bottom there, which is where your charger goes. You can easily just flip that in and close it in. And then you've got this sort of screw uh, looking thing there, as you can see there, that's where your uh, 3.5 mil headphone jack will go. So if you just unscrew that a second and you can see it there. So, uh, if you've got any concerns as to whether your headphone will fit in there or not, they've also provided you with a sort of adapter here, 3.5mm headphone adapter, which you can easily just screw in again. So it's not just, uh, they haven't left anything to chance at all. You, you have to screw that in and that goes straight into your iPhone 5 and then you can plug in your uh, headphone in there, which is really great. Good design, uh, brilliant. So to get in it, you just take the flap off the sides. There's another one right there, easily to, easy to remove. So once you've done that, you can see the two halves of the actual product there. So you can start to place your iPhone 5 in that half and actually seal it up together. So before I do that, I'll just show you around the device there. So you can actually see uh, closer there, this rubber that goes all around uh, the survivor kit there. So what that does is to protect it from accidental bumps. Uh, so it acts as a shock absorber. So it absorbs the shock if you actually bump your iPhone or anything like that. It also acts as your seal as well. So water seal, so that prevents water from getting inside the case with your iPhone 5 placed inside of it. First thing you notice is when you're pushing your iPhone 5, it actually goes in there uh, very tightly, so very snug with your iPhone 5. So there's no space for your iPhone 5 to move around the case at all. There's no gaps in there. So. And then once you've done that, just simply place your back cover, cover there. Make sure it's all fully clipped in, you get that clicky feedback. And then you can clip in your flaps all around it. And that's it, your iPhone 5 is ready to go, good to go. And you can use the, the touch screen just as normal. What you might notice on the iPhone 5 with iOS 7 a bit is you might struggle sometimes to get to the notification uh, sort of slide to get the notification up there. And that's just the problem with uh, the case there because it's got a slight raised, raised uh, edge there so that's what happens when you're trying to do that but you can still get into it like you see there that uh, you can still get to it it's not a massive problem at all but uh, the whole point is you can still use your iPhone 5 touch screen everything's still active and you got all the ports required there you got one for your uh, sort of silent switch there you got your volume rocker there as well and then at the bottom there you got your headphone port which you've got an adapter for to sort of connect that in there and then you got your flaps there. At the top there you just got your 
power button that's normal there as well. In the packaging you also get a wrist strap which you can easily just feed through, add a little gap provided right at the bottom there so you can have it on, on your wrist as well. So if you're going to use it in water uh, or in the sea, in the swimming pool, that kind of stuff, you can have it on your wrist so you don't lose your iPhone 5. It's always going to be attached to you as well. So that's the case there. It's really nice, really smart. You can actually use this uh, on day-to-day -day basis like I keep mentioning so let me know what you think really nice case worth it pricing and availability will be in the description area So do check it out give it a thumbs up as well if you like it and make sure you share this video as well Thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next one